Empire of Night is the fifth main book in the Vampire sequence, and for my money, it's absolutely the best one so far. I'm really excited about it. Um, I think the stakes really do rise in this book. Um, Grace and Connor obviously have just find, found out that uh, their real father was not Dexter Tempest, but is in, was in fact Sidorio, and as a result of that, they're both half vampire and half mortal. They're Dompiers or Dampiers. I never know how to pronounce that word. So this book is going to be about uh, Grace and Connor coming to terms with both their new identity and, and their new father, uh, Sidorio. Uh, but it's not going to be a very angst-ridden book. There's a lot of action in here, so there's not a lot of sitting around sort of worrying about things. They've got to get on with life. Um, I guess the other thing that I'm really excited about is the Sidorio side of the story. And uh, this is a big plot spoiler, so you might want to turn away now. But if you've read um, the preview chapter that we posted up on the website um, recently, you'll know that one of my favourite characters comes back into the story in Empire of Night. And that's Lady Lola Lockwood Sidorio. Um, it was always my plan, really, to kill her off at the end of Blackheart. Um, but the minute that I did that, um, I just thought, what have I done? I've created one of the best characters in the sequence, and now I've got rid of her, and this just isn't going to work. So, um, fortunately, my publishers um, agreed, and uh, we worked out a way to bring her back. So she's very much back in the thick of the action. And what's exciting about that is that um, in Blackheart, Lola really only engaged with Sidorio uh, and some of his crew. But now in this book, uh, one of my favourite scenes early on in this book is where Lola and Grace meet each other. And um, if you think you know wicked stepmothers, you really don't until you've met Lola. Um, and there's also some interesting interplay, I think, between um, Lola and um, Sidorio's lieutenants, Johnny and Stukely. Um, in some ways, um, this is quite uh, an intense book, I think. And one of the things that I definitely uh, set out to do at the outset was to limit the number of characters in this book so that we could spend a bit more time with each of them. So I think in the whole sequence, there's probably over 60 or 70 named characters. And I've really tried to focus in this book on, on about 14 of them um, as, as the main characters so that we start to see some interesting combinations um, and some relationships developing. So you're going to see Darcy and Lorcan talking to each other a little bit more than you have done. You're going to see Johnny come back into the story um, and um, start distracting Grace uh, somewhat. Um, you've got you know, old favourites like Bart and Jasmine and Jacoby and Bo Yin, um, and they've all got a big role to play. Um, and there's one major new character coming into the story, uh, the mysterious Obsidian Dark, and, as I've said on the blog, one of the main characters is sadly going to die in this book. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you who that is, but I will tell you that when I wrote that scene, I actually cried um, as I was writing it, which uh, is a bit embarrassing and not something that's happened before. Um, but uh, I guess that shows how much the characters mean to me. So all in all, I love this book, but most importantly, I hope you're going to love Empire of Night. Um, and uh, you know, do come onto the blog and let me know what you think about it. Um, I will be celebrating publication of Empire of Night in my favourite way, which is getting out on the road and meeting my readers. So um, I'm going to be doing an event on publication day itself, which is, uh, as it happens, it's World Book Day. Um, and I will be doing a uh, festival event at Surrey Libraries um, on uh, Thursday the 4th of March. Um, and then shortly afterwards I shall be doing an event at Jewish Book Week on uh, Sunday the 7th of March in central London. Um, then I have a little bit of a gap and then I will be going all around the country um, during the week beginning March 22nd. So that will be a combination of school visits, library visits, um, and bookstore visits. So, so some will be uh, public events. And as usual, with the public events, uh, we'll list all of them on the events section of um, vampirates.co.uk. So if you want to know where I am, 
come and say hello, get a signed copy, um, that's the best place to check out the details. I'm going to read you um, a very brief extract right from the beginning of Empire of Night. So this isn't the same if you've read the preview chapter on the website, this isn't the same bit. Um, this is the prologue. It's called The Three Gifts and it begins with a letter. Connor, my son, heir to my empire, here is the first of three gifts to mark this auspicious first night of blood taking. Come to my cabin when the watch shows midnight, and I will present you with your other two gifts, your blood father, Sidorio. Connor stood at the captain's door. Instinctively, his hand dropped to his belt, his fingers seeking out his sword, resting in its scabbard. Connor squeezed the sword hilt, as he often did in times of stress. It reminded him of the moments when he was utterly in control, when his sword was drawn and he was in the mists of battle. If only he could achieve the same simplicity and clarity in the rest of his life as he did when he was engaged in combat. Adrenaline surged through his body. Adrenaline, adrenaline is a strange thing, he thought. You need it to fuel you in times of pressure. Yet too much of the stuff almost paralyses you. His life had changed and he knew there was no going back. He couldn't even be sure that his sister Grace would still be alive by morning. When he had last seen her, she'd observed that they were in control of their own destinies. She could not have been more wrong, Connor thought bitterly now. They were no more than flies caught in a steel web. With Justin Sumper. Well, the best place to get in touch with Justin Sumper is through... Uh, my website through vampirus.co.uk and there's really two ways you can do it. You can email me and my email address is thecaptain um, at vampirus.co.uk so that's thecaptain at vampirus.co.uk if you want to send me an email or come onto the Vampirus website, become a VIP and then post a comment for me uh, on the captain's blog and that's a really good way uh, to come and chat to me because not only do I get to see your comment but all the other uh, nocturnals on the website do as well and then I go through that generally every couple of weeks um, I will uh, come on and read through all the comments and, uh, and post up answers um, of as many of them as I can so um, I'm pretty easy to contact.